right, you guys. This is going to be a long one. Hi, everyone. This is Rose, and I'm going to go ahead and put it out there, even though it should be obvious already, because if you click on this video, you can already see how long this video is. But anyway, this is going to be, like, one of my most favorite videos to ever do, products I've, I've used up slash empties. If I, see a little, if I seem a little bit out of it, it's because I am. I'm actually not feeling that well. Um, I don't think I have a sinus infection, but I have, like, some super duper ridiculous allergies going on right now. And I'm on a lot of medication. And Brandy says hi. I think she knows that I don't feel good. Because she's just been all through my Kool-Aid. Which is kind of not like her. She's a little... Not physically affectionate, just like her mom. But yeah, so this is, like... A good way to review products, get my 100% opinion of whether or not of whether or not I like something or if something sucks. So here we go. Wardrobe change. Uh, I'm gonna go give. You, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick explanation. I'm more sick, if you can already tell. I'm gonna finish this video out, and it's probably gonna be in multiple parts. An explanation coming soon as to why. This is five days after you last saw me. It's 11 o'clock at night. I'm in my PJs. This makeup on my face is 17 hours old. I just don't give a flip right now. Um, and the part that I really don't give a flip about, don't know if you guys can tell, um, this is what it looks like when you leave your brow pencil at home and all you have on you is an all natural brown eyeliner to do your brows with. But anyway, let me continue with my empties. So, the Clean and Clear Continuous Control Acne Cleanser. This is the top of that bottom tube that I just showed you guys. Um, I think this had 10% benzoyl peroxide in it. And it helped with my acne, but then again, I don't recall it foaming really well, which I prefer cleansers that foam. I don't know, I feel like the skin is actually cleaner um, when I use a foaming cleanser. <laughs> This is an all-natural toothpaste by Amway, the Glister Multi-Action Fluoride Toothpaste. Thought this worked fairly well for me in an all-natural toothpaste. This is the Longcomb High Resolution Eye Cream Sample that I had in the really old packaging. A really good eye cream in your if you're in your 20s to 30s and if you don't have a lot of lines, a lot of lines and wrinkles on your face. This is that Earth Airby line again, except it was the body lotion thought it was all right but my body skin is really dry so I need something a little more substantial this is the Paya body lotion shows you the facial cleansing uh, bar earlier don't really remember if this worked all that great unfortunately did not get to do a foundation review on this either but this is the covergirl out outlast stay fabulous 3 one foundation my color is 855 a fantastic foundation for me. It worked great with my oily skin. Um, fortunately, I have a lot of foundations that I have to go through, but whenever I do need a drugstore alternative, I will go back to using this. Another of that Earth Therapy stuff, and then another of the Jurgens um, BB cream. Another Dove deodorant, the Go Fresh Restore. This is the 48 hour strength. This stuff actually does last two days. Let's just say I had a lazy sick weekend. Now this, I really wish I did a separate review on this stuff. This is something that was caused by Estee Lalonde or Estee Button. The Molecule 01 Eccentric Molecules uh, fragrance. This actually has pheromones in it. Has a very masculine uh, woodsy scent because I think the only note in it is like cedar wood. It's unisex. When I wore this shit, I mixed it with another perfume. I think you're supposed to layer it. I had tons more women than men that told me I smelled really good because apparently it has pheromones and hormones, not hormones, it has pheromones in it. So it's to attract the opposite sex, except on me. <coughs> I had more women telling me that I smelled really good and they would actually go in for like a second sniff whenever they told me. And thankfully they were all very attractive women. Mostly people that I know. But yeah, 
any fellas out there interested in trying a fragrance that might actually attract the opposite sex, I would say try this stuff. I might set that aside because I might do a separate view on that. This is something I got in a glam bag, which is now Ipsy forever ago. The Marbella Permanent Eye Marker. Definitely was long wearing, but not black enough for my eyes. If you are an old school subscriber of mine, you'd know that I ended up using this more for my zombie tutorials to draw veins. Um, definitely worked great for that. It has like a felt tip on it, but just was not black enough to use on my eyes. This is from the Mercure Hotel in Paris, France. The conditioning shampoo. Thought it was all right. Now this is my holy grail. Can't afford it right now, but we'll be purchasing it again. New Lash Lash Extension uh, Enhancing Serum. This stuff grew out my lashes to the length they are now. My lashes are definitely permanently longer. Not as long as, not as long and thick as I use this stuff. This stuff, this is a sample size. The full size tube is like a normal mascara size. It's like $90. But I can tell you guys that this shit actually really does work. Because I have the typical short, straight Asian lashes before I use this. And now my lashes, I mean, you probably can't even really tell. I do have on mascara, but I'm sure my smoky eye doesn't help. But now my lashes are long enough where they crawl on their own. My mother also started to use this. She's in her 60s, a Korean woman. And this grew out her lashes as well. I'm going to set that aside because I might still do a video on this. This is a sample of a fragrance I'm sure does not exist anymore. The Jessica Simpson Fancy Nights. As you can see, there's still perfume in this. Because this shit made me nauseous. It basically smells like... I'm sorry, but an old dead woman. The scent reminded me of Jägermeister. If you guys are old enough to drink... And if you've had it before, you know what I mean? It just smells like licorice. This stuff I had to stop using because it actually made my stomach hurt. This is a very old Wet n Wild glitter polish that I just had to throw out when I attempted to use it. I have no clue how old this shit is. I know it definitely doesn't exist anymore. This is the Bath & Body Works True Blue Spa Best Tress Volumizing Conditioner. I actually really did like this stuff. Use this as a leave-in and use this to uh, to shave with. I'm going to show you. These are samples of the Lancome Tent Adol Foundation. A good long wear high-end foundation. Not full coverage enough for me. This is a little mini Sephora by OPI Polish. I have no clue what the name is. Remember the color was beautiful, but that's not going to be helpful for you because I have no clue what the name is. <laughs> This is a drugstore under eye concealer that I'm definitely going to go back to using because it worked great as a highlight. The Age Rewind. Uh, this is in the brightener color. Fantastic drugstore under eye concealer and highlight. I know I used this down the bridge of my nose as well. I ended up not using this sponge though. I ended up having to open it because it ended up breaking on me. Don't know if that's like a consistent thing. This is an eyeliner I was sad to see go. I'm going to have to look at what the name was. Urban Decay 24-7. I don't think it was called Kush, but I think it had something to do with marijuana. But it was a beautiful um, green color. I could probably still swat. No, no, I can't swatch it. Eyeliners work great. Definitely stay on. This was a Bath & Body Works True Blue Spa Grin & Barrett Screen Quenching Body Lotion. Thought this stuff worked all right. Um... But of course, not moisturizing enough for my really dry body skin. Now this is the top to that French night cream I mentioned earlier. The brand is Yonka. Yonka, I think is how you say it. Another one of those uh, natural ice cherry um, lip balms. This is one of my favorite exfoliators slash make removers slash cleansers the clarins one step gentle exfoliator obviously this is a sample tiny microscopic exfoliating beads this stuff works great the cody airspun glam life guru or tati um got me to try this a translucent extra coverage loose powder 
I think the translucent shade might have been a little too pale for my skin, but they do have a, a color range in it. I think they even have a highlighting one that has like shimmer in it. But this works great if you're looking for a cheap loose powder. I think this thing was like $3 at Walmart. Uh, my Holy Grail eye pencil. We'll have to eventually go back to these, maybe. This is the Clarins Waterproof Eyeliner. If you've got oily skin where your liner does not stay in the waterline, this eyeliner is like 20 something dollars. Will last you a long time because you have to sharpen it. Phenomenal eyeliner. And it's really black and they have it in all different colors. This I got in an influencer box forever ago, the Equitance Brightening Serum and Spot Corrector. I used this for like a couple of months and don't really recall it helping with my hyperpigmentation at all. Too Faced Better Than False Lashes Nylon Lash Extension System. This is the step one in three that you use that's basically the mascara. I have a really old, recorded on my laptop, um, demo or review of this, which I'll link down below. I really like this system. Now you do have to use some tweaking with it to make sure that the lashes don't clump together after you put the fibers on, but I think this stuff works great, especially if you don't want a full, okay, my light just went out, <laughs> especially if you don't want a full with like um, false lashes, um, and that's the brush, which you can't really tell because it's all jacked up because it's old and been through hell, um, but if you don't want a full eyelashes and want your lashes to actually be extended, give this a try. This is that exfoliator that I showed you earlier in the box, the Zensation Ultra Sil Silky Rose Exfoliating Cream. Very luxe packaging. This is actually a glass jar. Okay. This is the Clarins Super Restorative Total Eye Concentrate. An eye cream that's definitely for more mature women, but I used it since I had the sample. Great eye cream. This stuff, I think, retails for either $100 or close to $200. But this little sample lasted me a long time because a little goes a long way. This is another of the Lancome Tint Adult Foundation samples. Another of that Clarins eye cream that I just mentioned. Another of Mary Kay's Satin Hands. This is actually the fragrance free version, which worked just as well as the peach. But I will admit that I found the peach fragrance quite pleasant. A perfume that probably doesn't exist anymore. A sample of the Queen by Queen Latifah. Hate to say, basically smells like all the stereotypical celebrity fragrances. Has like a strong like vanilla base to it. This is a men's cologne that I actually wore for a little while. The Kenneth Cole Mankind it's a sample. Thought it worked great and my battery's dying. This is the NYC Brow Pencil in Taupe. Pretty misleading because the damn thing ended up running out in the middle when I had this much left of the product, which kind of pissed me off. Um, yeah, we'll never use this again because this was a bitch to stay on my oily skin. It like moved and smudged so easily, so. Definitely will not use it again. Only cost me a couple bucks, so much more. So what more could I expect? But still, it was very disappointing. This is a teeny tiny wedge. The Estee Lauder. I don't even, I don't even think it's worth seeing. The Estee Lauder Cajal pencil in blackest black. I think. Not long wearing in the oily skid aspect. It will run. You do have to set it with a powder. But this is like a true black black very soft if you use it on your bottom water line you definitely need to set it with a powder but using it on the top on top of an eyeshadow works great um wouldn't mind using this again but if i do i'll only use it on the top of my eye and not the bottom another of the neutrogena wipes sorry my camera's out of focus all of a sudden another of that shishado SPF Day Cream, another of the Best Trust Hair Conditioner, and another Taylor Swift Wonderstruck sample. Two more of those Equate Wipes that I ended up really not liking. 
And then last but not least, the Edge Shaving Cream, a men's shaving cream. I don't discriminate. Works just as well as the women's. Alright, like I told you in the beginning, this was a long one and it had to be broken up into different parts. But again, if I can find links for any of these products, um, they'll be listed in the description bar below. And that's it. Again, this is Rose, and thank you so much for watching this crap. If you found this at all entertaining or helpful, please give this video a like because it helps me out. I can definitely appreciate that now. And subscribe and become part of my random family. And until next time, I hope you all have a great day, and you'll be seeing me again, hopefully, very soon.